Hello and welcome to day one of Dakar Daily. We are well and truly underway. We have left the city of Lima behind. We're in a very windy Pisco for a short stage today, Alex. At short, yeah, around 30k. So in theory, the idea was that they'd get a feel for it and a bit of a shakedown. However, the word in the street is that it is in fact an extremely challenging way to start this Dakar. Absolutely, it's it's, it's an incredibly difficult way to kick things off. But the guys happy to be out there. However, it all kicked off with the opening ceremony back in Lima. <laughs> Day one kicked off in Lima, and after the podium party celebrations, the crews headed for Pisco for a short 31 kilometer special stage. The bikes got underway in front of a big Peruvian crowd, some though finding it more difficult than others. Last year's winner Sam Sunderland set the pace in the dunes, the British rider 32 seconds faster than his good friend Adrian Van Beveren on the Yamaha, third fastest through on the bikes, Pablo Quintanilla. In the cars, as expected, NASA Alatia led a Toyota 1-2 to dominate the field by nearly 30 seconds, teammate Bernhard Ten Brinker second quickest ahead of Nicolas Fuchs. A great start too for Bryce Menzies, fourth fastest in the new two-wheel drive Mini. Disaster though for Peugeot's Sebastian Loeb. Total brake failure costing him five minutes. Here are the results for the bike and car categories from today's stage. Head to redbull.com forward slash Dakar for full results and much more. top of a dune, not far from the start line. The energy and atmosphere from all these Peruvian fans is absolutely fantastic. The guys have kicked off out there. We're enjoying the Dakar, you're enjoying the Dakar? That's what we like to hear. As we know, Bryce Menzies competing in his first ever Dakar Rally. Bryce, you've just finished your first stage. How was it? Oh man, it was unbelievable. This is uh, it's been my dream and a goal for so long, and to finally uh, start the Dakar, finish my first stage, it feels unbelievable. Mini built this new two-wheel drive car, and I'm loving it. That's what I'm used to back home. So uh, this first stage, I'm like, all right, we're on. We got a good car. We got great partners behind us with Red Bull, KMC Wheels, BF Goodrich Tires. Um, you know, the first stage is only 30k. Uh, we ran really good. I missed. I made one small mistake. I thought we could run down a valley. We had to come back to a waypoint, but we don't want to start first tomorrow anyways. It's all dunes. We'll follow them, get through the first week, and then we'll push from there. Long way to go. Good luck. Yeah, 16 days, so long ways. Thank you. Now, I'm glad Bryce mentioned the two-wheel drive Mini, because as we know, Peugeot are running two-wheel drive, and Mini have developed this all-new two-wheel drive. They're also running the four-wheel drive, the traditional Mini that we've seen in the Dakar. The regulations have changed to work really against the two-wheel drives. It's all about the four-wheel drives, I think, this year. NASA Alatia is a man to watch in his Toyota. They got 30 mil more suspension travel. They're lighter than ever before, and NASA is the Sandman. In 2018, uh, Dakar Rally, uh, it's look uh, interesting, uh, Dakar, you know, uh, because uh, we go back again to uh, Peru. I'm quite happy to start uh, from Peru, totally in the dunes, you know, five days, sand dune. It will be interesting. Uh, we have a lot of experience of uh, dunes, uh, me and Matthew. We compete uh, many, many races uh, together, and uh, we have very good relation. 
I think Dakar 2018 will be very, very special for everybody. It will be hard, not easy, but we try to do our best uh, to, to enjoy first and then uh, to win this Dakar. To win uh, next uh, Dakar 2018 is very, very important uh, because all the teams is uh, competing. Bijou, Mini, Mini have uh, now uh, a new car, uh, buggy. My target now to win uh, with my uh, teams, Toyota, Gazores. Toyota is building a new car and uh, we are quite happy with the Toyota. We try to do our best, you know, to make a really uh, nice uh, Dakar and uh, to give this uh, win for first time in the history of uh, Toyota. Now, speaking of Toyota, one man taking part in his first ever Dakar in the Toyota is footballing legend Andre villas Boas, and you caught up with him, Alex. Yeah, he's excited. It was great to speak to him. Dakar is a new challenge, and uh, he just wants to get to the end. Well, uh, motor racing is one of those passions that has been, you know, with, with me since I was a little boy. I used to go to all Formula One races, rally races with my father, but also my uncle. My uncle actually did the uh, Dakar two times. He uh, finished second also in the Camel Trophy, the old Camel Trophy. And, uh, and so motor racing is kind of in the family, um, as much as football. And I always had this ambition to do the Dakar. So uh, I, I thought this year, you know, me being 40, 40th edition, my uncle also doing it at 40 years old, the numbers kind of play right, and I used this stop in football to to be here in the in the Dakar. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, live every single day the experience and, and enjoy it as much as I can. So you have a real sense of idea of what this challenge is actually going to be, don't you? Well, this year, uh, but to live it is going to be different. It looks so easy in TV with the masters that you that you see the the number one riders, but for the other guys, is uh, is very tough. So I've surrounded myself with the best, the best team with Toyota Overdrive, and uh, and also with Ruben Faria, my co-driver, which is uh, done the Dakar for ten times and. Uh, He's going to use his experience to, to guide me, hopefully, to, to Cordoba. So my humble objective is to reach the end and also promote the, the, the three charities that I take in my car. My car is out of sponsorship, all for charity. But you know that uh, around any corner is going to be danger and, uh, and I have to take it very carefully because I have a wife and three kids to, to come back to and I need to, I need to be careful. And is this, is this the start of a new career? No, I don't think so. Uh, you know, my, my, my professional job is my professional job. I need to be there. It's what I enjoy. Uh, certainly is a hobby and a passion that I hope to fulfill a few more times. Well, we're very excited to see how you get on. Andre, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, as expected, it's been an incredible first day here at the 2018 Dakar Rally. There's still a long, long way to go. Tomorrow we will be back where we leave from Pisco and do a much longer loop back to Pisco. It's really, really exciting and it kicks off very, very nicely. Do keep up to date with us. Follow the hashtags Rally Dakar, Red Bull Motorsport from myself, Al and Mike. See you tomorrow at Red Bull TV. Goodbye.